Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Wednesday, the 26th day of August. Today is National Web Mistress Day. You know what mm. tomorrow is? Your birthday. Yes, it is. Cow. It's National Dog Day today. It's also a National Women's Equality Day and National Cherry Popsicle Day today. How does cherry get its own day? Shouldn't it just be Popsicle Maybe Day? Maybe they all have their own day. I don't know. Well, it's Cherry Popsicle Day, which is... I got to be honest, it's my favorite anyway, but still, even though it's my favorite, I don't know that that's necessarily right that they get their own day. (laughs) I'm not going to protest or anything. I just, you know, just don't think that's right. Um, I got a guest joining me. Did you ever watch a show called The Facts of Life? Yes, I did. Tootie? All too well. Uh Uh-huh. We're going to be chatting with Kim Fields. She's known as Tootie in that show, but she's been in so many other things. Now she's working with a young lady by the name of Treza Azarel Smallwood for a new program, a a movie that they just did recently called Baby Blue. We're going to chat all about that in just a bit. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800-659-7805. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A new study shows teens who vape are five times more likely to get infected with COVID-19. So five times more likely. We should send that to our daughter. We definitely should send that to our daughter. We found out she's been vaping. So uh, anyway, I've got a link to that study. If you want to share it with your daughter or, hey, we could everybody send it to our daughter. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of people we'll give you our this. contact info. <laughs> no, I really do think that that's uh, a good thing to send. If you know somebody that's vaping, why put yourself at risk even more for COVID-19? It's a bad right. idea. I've got a link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is Your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Florida man arrested 30 times was arrested for several drug charges. Investigators uh, secured a search warrant, and the SWAT team raided his home in Springview, uh, on Springview Avenue, rather. Inside, they found Joseph Vine and Rachel Hayes in the master bedroom. Detectives found a WD-40 can full of heroin and also some pills. Uh, can uh, also inside a glass. I'm gonna try this again. Inside a can of glass cleaner. So these were all like fake cans. Uh, They found some meth and heroin and methadone pills. SWAT team also discovered $3,800 in a shelf unit and $37,000 in a paint can. So they had all this stuff hidden in other items, but they were able to find all of it. Vine already has 19 other felony drug convictions on his record. After this arrest, he's facing a new one, including trafficking, heroin possession of a controlled substance, marijuana possession, and possession of drug paraphernalia. So it says he's been arrested 30 times, but here it says 19 plus this one. Wouldn't that add up to 20 times? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know which one is right. Either way, that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Wendy Williams is in the news. She finally sold her New Jersey home that she shared with her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, $1.3 million. uh, Wendy divorced her husband in 2019 after 21 years of marriage. That's a shame. People are not nice to her online. Wow. I really don't even know who she is. You do, too. But we don't, like, watch the show. It's it's not on when we're watching TV. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, also, speaking of uh, people not being nice to yeah, people. Yeah, yikes. Uh, so she's apparently not the nicest person backstage. But, boy, the Internet has really turned on Ellen. 
Uh, she was recently seen dining with Kevin Hart in Hollywood as rumors continue to swirl about a toxic work environment at her show. So there you go. I've got a link to both of those stories in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Eagle-eyed fans, I don't know what that means exactly, other than they were watching closely, I think, uh, of the program Keeping Up with the Kardashians, noticed that Khloe Kardashian used an editing software called Facetune to alter her images on a selfie that she posted back in May. So they were like, oh, hey, that's not even what she looks like. Yeah. That's not fair. Well, I would assume all, yeah. s- first of all, most people in general are using Something things to, to make them look better. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's filters and all of this stuff. Here's the thing. I wish we had that stuff in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen pictures of me and I'm like, ooh, that's what I look like. Why do you guys even hang out with me? <laughs> Amid fears of TikTok's demise, influencers are already reportedly fleeing the app. They're uh, jumping ship right now. Many started moving their viral videos to Instagram's newest feature, Reels. They'll uh, join other Instagram influencers who are also trying to become viral. So they're uh, they're all working really hard on wanting to matter. So they're like, hey, look at me. I matter today because I did this. I'm like, oh, okay. That's cool. Just live your life, man. Just live your life. Uh, but some of them, that's what they make. That's how they make their living. Oh, they make a very good living. Yeah. I don't because I don't know if I just mentioned this. I am not a handsome man. <laughs> Yes, you are. I don't know about that. Former King of Queens actress Leah Remy uh, is in the news again. She says she thinks Tom Cruise is waiting until Surrey Cruise, his 14-year-old daughter with ex-wife Katie Holmes, is older so he can indoctrinate her into Scientology. So that's what Leah says. She's interesting. I'm not sure what my take is on her. Well, and, and there's both. I've seen both sides of this because there are people who you know have also been involved in Scientology who say, no, she's right. Oh, there's no, I don't people. doubt Scientology. <laughs> but, but then the whole there's Scientology other thing. people who say, no, I'm involved in Scientology and she's wrong. But, you know, again, if you were, would you say, yeah, she's right and I'm staying in this? You right. Know? So I don't know. It's just one of those things where we try not to go down that path. So we're going to just stay right in our own little lane right here. And we'll talk about Netflix. They get a new documentary called Biohackers. Follows Silicon Valley billionaires who inject blood from young people into their bodies to make themselves feel younger. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? That's <laughs> that, interesting. That's a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. Did you know that was a thing? I had no idea that was a I thing. I had no clue. J-Lo and A-Rod, that's Jennifer Lopez and a- Alex Rodriguez, for those of you who are not in the know, they've purchased a $40 million mansion in Miami. Jeez. It's 51 years old and needs a ton of work. Just like... Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 and Columbia's fast food... Re- Oh, by the way, that was my attempt at humor. It probably wasn't even funny. And Columbia's fast food restaurants are using automated workers to slow the spread of COVID. Uh, it says you can't take any chances mixing food and coronavirus. So in Columbia, they just said we're going to take people out of the equation. So I wonder how long before that becomes the norm everywhere. Yep, it's that's probably, my concern. Probably what's going to happen. That is going to do it for your scoop of the day. I had a lot of famous people in there this week. I don't know, for today, I don't know you why. Did. There's a lot of them. I don't know how that happened, but that did. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. I've got a couple of guests joining me today, Kim Fields and Tressa Azarel Smallwood. And we're going to be talking about a fun project they're working on together. But let's first of all say hello to Kim. How are you doing, Kim? Doing great. How about you? I am fantastic. And Tressa, how are things going there? I am wonderful. Well, we're excited to talk to the two of you. You guys have a program that uh, is just launching 
Uh, now let's let's talk a little bit. We'll start with Kim. Tell me a little bit about the background on this program and and uh, what people are going to find when they check out Baby Blue. Sure. So Baby Blue is a project that I directed as a part of an initiative on um, mental health awareness that BET Her has created. The overall initiative is called The Couch. And so uh, we've got two short films, 20-minute films, one dealing with schizophrenia, one dealing with postpartum depression. And so uh, the first one was directed by the wonderful actress and director Victoria Rowell, and then my film Baby Blue, uh, which is about postpartum depression, uh, that one will air right afterwards, again, as a part of this initiative from BET Her. That is fantastic. And, and Tressa, were you working on the same project, or are you working on a different project? Yep, same project. We uh, worked on this together. I actually produced the project. Kim uh, directed it, and we you know, got the opportunity to work with some amazing cast members and crew that were able to actually bring this to light in the middle of a pandemic. Now, how did that change things when you guys were working on this? I'm I'm assuming it probably changed things in a big way, but what would you say was the most difficult thing to actually get this pulled together? Probably getting approved. Uh, You know, obviously to film, you know, even when it's not a pandemic, you have to get approved by SAG, you have to get approved by the film commissions in your state, you know, local entities as well. And so that approval process probably took us at least 60 days because they kept saying, hey, wait, you can't film yet. All right, let's push it back. We'll get another date. We're still on quarantine. So I know I emailed Kim at least seven times saying we changed the date. And each time she was like, okay, well, I'm still in, and we're going to still make it happen. Now, Kim, a lot of folks listening probably know you from a little program called The Facts of Life. You get to play Tootie on that program for many, many years. And uh, what was it like doing that project? And then how does that, did that kind of help prepare you for all these fun things you're doing now? Well, doing Facts of Life for nine years um, certainly is is just a a cornerstone in my actual life, let alone my career. Uh, Growing up uh, from age nine to 18 on one show as one character. Uh, And then from there, uh, a couple of years later, uh, running five years on Facts of Living Single, um, and so working with great crews uh, has always been tremendous for me uh, and learning from crew members. I always say I'm a crew baby. Uh, learning from um, various directors and directors of photography, camera, um, men and women, um, and, and basically just everyone on, on the crew. So I've always been a sponge kind of soaking all of that up uh, with every project and even now. Uh, when I'm when I'm working, I just did an episode of Insecure uh, for HBO, and uh, got to work with uh, Jay Ellis, one of the cast members who directed the episode. Tremendous uh, director, uh, as well. So I find that you know being able to have every opportunity count, and and learn from it is is certainly something that that I enjoy doing very much. And Tressa, I'm looking at your resume here as well, and you've got some amazing things you've had a chance to to work on. And is this the first time the two of you have worked together, or have you worked together on any projects in the past? No, this is my first, but won't be the last. I love that. And if folks would like to tune in, we'll go back to Kim. Uh, how can they How can they find this? It's on BET Her. Where do we find that? And they can certainly look it on any of the uh, BET platforms. Will it be available through downloads where they can kind of download it on their own time as well? I think they're going to put the schedule up on, if everybody goes to BET.com, they have a page up right now called The Couch, and it lists all the cast members and everything that's happening, mm-hmm. and they'll have all of, that, all of that information where they can find out the other times that it will air. That is fantastic. We'll throw a link to all of that. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Thank you. Our Thank pleasure. You. Again, the movie is called Baby Blue. I've got a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye. Bye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800-659-7805. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Nabokov may be the real inventor of emojis. Russian author Vladimir Nabokov, the guy responsible for the classic novel Lolita, 
came up with the idea for smiley emoticons way back in 1969. Okay. So they're saying the emojis might be from him. I don't know if uh, anybody else noticed this or not, but there were these things called uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics. <laughs> those were also kind of emojis. But those weren't, weren't really just smiley faces. No, no I they were that. not emojis. But emojis, at all. emojis are not just smiley faces. So there's uh, a lot of other things too. <laughs> but if you're gonna go with that, you could say that. Everybody who's ever made a cave picture drawings? of any kind. So cave drawings were the original. Okay, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> I think it's a bit of a stretch. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Italy. A Mediterranean cruise ship set sail for Genoa, Italy last Monday for the first trip since the coronavirus shutdown in the cruise industry. So uh, the very first trip ever, cruise cruise ship taking a trip, decided let's go to Genoa, Italy. Isn't that where they had like the worst COVID outbreak was Italy? Yeah. (laughs) So was that the right place to go on the first trip? I don't know, maybe they They haven't haven't paid any attention. They might. They must. They must. They wouldn't be sending people there on cruise ships if they didn't. So I don't know. It's a just I thought that was a little bit bizarre. But I'm glad to see that, you know, people are things out are moving again. again. We recently had an opportunity to travel by air. And we at did. the airport, there were the only thing I noticed, everybody had masks on. Well, it, was it was mandatory. But there were a lot of people there. I mean, it wasn't like oh, yeah, it, was it was packed. ghost town at all. There were a lot yeah, of people. And flying. every flight we were on was yeah, full filled to the there capacity. Thanks so. for listening to a news headline from somewhere in this world. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Police in Munich, Germany at the airport discovered a very interesting thing inside a wooden box that was being transported by a 74-year-old passenger there. It was the bones of the woman's dead husband. (gasps) Custom officials, a doctor, and prosecutors were called in. They determined no crime had been committed. After questioning her her and her 52-year-old daughter, police learned that the pair were on their way from Greece back to their native Armenia through Munich uh, and Kiev, or how do you say it, Kiev? Kiev. Kiev. The mother said the husband died in 2008 and was buried in Greece, and she and her daughter decided to bring his remains home to a final resting place in Armenia. I don't think that's the way you do it, though. Following a short investigation, the women were allowed to continue on their journey with the boxed remains. Really? So they're like, okay, well, go ahead. Just don't put them in the overhead compartment. So I have no idea what they were. I find that very it hard seems to believe. Quite bizarre to me, but that apparently is how they did it. So not wow! You know. Thanks for listening. That's why it's today's weird news. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. A Long Island, New York criminal defendant tried faking his death to avoid a jail sentence, but the phony death certificate that his lawyer submitted had a glaring spelling error that made it a dead giveaway for a fraud. 25-year-old Robert Berger, Huntington, New York, faces up to four years in prison if convicted in the alleged scheme. In addition to pending sentences for early guilty pleas to charges of possession of a stolen Lexus and attempted grand larceny of a truck punishment, prosecutors say he was looking to avoid, it will never cease to amaze me the length some people will go to avoid being accountable on criminal charges, says the district attorney. So uh, yeah, that's one way to do it. I can't serve my can't sentence. Can't do the time. Don't do the crime. Why can't you serve the sentence? Because I'm dead. Here's my- A for effort. I mean, you know, you got to. So I wonder if the attorney knew because the attorney is the one that provided the death certificate. So I wonder if the attorney is going to be implicated in this. I too. don't know. Yeah, don't do that. It's all a bad idea. Uh, Thanks for listening to today's Moment of Da.
Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Tell me, fake news or Florida? Florida man told police he stole twenty. Uh, I'm sorry, 75 pool floats so he could have relations with them. Fake news or Florida? I'm going to say Florida. It is a true story. What in the <laughs> world is going on there? <laughs> oh, I don't even goodness. want to know more. You know what? There's a link. I'm not clicking it. I don't want to know. <laughs> I am not clicking this one. I got to tell you, I already know way more than I wanted to know about that. Way more. And you probably do too. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. This has been Fake News or Florida. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. And I've got a story about a person getting pulled over by the police, but it's a good news story. A woman pulled over for speeding receives an act of kindness from a police officer. A woman from Maine took to Facebook to praise officer's act of kindness after he pulled her over for speeding. So Brianna Korevu, I probably said it wrong, I apologize, said she was on a break from work when she was pulled over for speeding. While pulled over, she ran over the curb and popped her tire. Oh. After realizing what happened, the officer, Aaron Pardias, and again, I apologize if I'm saying the names wrong, he ripped up the ticket, called a tow truck, and then oh. drove her back to work. Oh. When she returned back to work uh, to pick up her vehicle, when she returned back, not to work, but to the place, she also found out that the officer paid for the tire and the oh, repair. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she said, what an act of kindness. He called me a tow truck, uh, took, took, you know, made the ticket go away, and drove me to my car. What a guy. That we, is awesome. I love that. When we walk that. in, he tells the guy at the counter uh, she needs a new tire and so on. Uh, she said, I went to the restroom when I came back out. Uh, found out that the everything had been paid for. So anyway, it's the the entire story is here if you want to read it. I, I'm trying to skim through this. Can you ever tell when I don't know what exactly is happening and uh, I'm yes. skimming? <laughs> I, I can. <laughs> the yeah. whole show goes off the rails. I think that is so. <laughs> well, my brain sweet. and my mouth are not communicating. <laughs> says, the officer had no clue what he had done for me that day. I'm so thankful for him and his act of kindness. I wish wonderful things to come your way. You restored my faith in mankind during these hard times. So That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, I got to say, she shouldn't have been speeding in the first place because you shouldn't do that. But talk about a really nice ending to that story. And there are people online already saying, well, yeah, because it was a lady. But I would oh. hope that this officer would have done this no matter what the gender, no matter what the race, no matter what the, what the, what the, anything. Just a, a good officer is what I believe. And that's the story I'm going to continue to believe. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Bye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.